Hi, my name is Ryan Leak, author and speaker from Dallas, Texas, and the verse of the day is Psalms chapter 19, verse 14. It says this, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. What I love about this verse is that David is inviting us to take inventory of two crucial areas of our life. The first one is external, the words of my mouth. I don't know about you, but the words of my mouth can often get me in trouble. I want you to pause just for a moment. You know, think back maybe over the last year of your life and ask yourself, what are the words that have been coming out of my mouth? What has been the subject of the majority of my conversations? What have I been saying to others? My prayer for you and for me is that the words that we speak to our spouses, our children, our friends, and our colleagues, that they would truly honor God. The second area that David desires to be pleasing in the sight of God is now internal, the meditation of my heart. We've moved from what everybody can see with the words of our mouth to what no one can see with the meditation of our heart. Only God can see that. So here's the question I want to ask you. What have you been thinking about nonstop? I mean, what's the thing that's been consuming your attention? Is it your appearance? Is it a relationship status? Is it your influence? Is it your career ambitions? What is it? The Hebrew word used here for meditation can take on a few different meanings, including whispers and in some cases plotting. The verse could almost be written, may the whispers of my heart be pleasing in your sight, or the plotting of my heart be pleasing in your sight. It's like David's going, I want every part of me from the inside out to be pleasing to you, God. May the things people can see be pleasing, but also the parts of me that no one can see, my yearnings, my plans, my plotting. Oh, Lord, when you look at those things, may you smile. This verse challenges us at our core. Now, here's the best part. David didn't say the words of his mouth or the meditation of his heart were pleasing in God's sight. He's just praying that it would be. And I think you and I should do the same. That's what I want you to think about today.